Alrighty, welcome back to another video. So the new seasonal summons portal has started. Uh, we've just finished the seasonal event. Um, I think what 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 was it called? I think the uh, the Kelvala seasonal event. We've just finished it. We've gotten our uh, epic hero tokens. So now let's have a look at the new Kelvala hero that has been released into the public summon portal so Ukonen Ukonen is a 5 star red fighter class hero uh, so Kelvala families they have a uh, family bonus heroes become stronger when teamed with other unique heroes of the same family bonus for 1, 2 and 3 heroes receive negative 10 uh, negative 25 or negative 40 percent less damage from special skills of the stronger element so in this case it's ice and the members of this family have additional perks in the kilvala event they also have this passive power of sisu when this character starts a turn with low health for the first time during a battle they recover 15 percent health and receive 15 percent mana so that's pretty good uh does help a lot when uh, i remember there was a time when i was using kulervo as a tank so that uh, it kind of discourages purple as well because, uh, you know, he would have been strong against purple. Not to say strong, sorry. Uh, he was strong against purple in the sense that if he fires, uh, you'll get five turns of mindless. And at the same time, because of that negative 10% reduced damage uh, from special skills, it was pretty hard to kill him as well. So let's look at Ukonen's ability, Chords of Distortion. Deals 230% damage to all enemies at average speed. All enemies get negative 40% attack for 3 turns against ice characters. This status effect becomes uncleansable and lasts 2 turns longer. So that is a recurring team that is uh, for Kelvala heroes. The caster and nearby allies recover 618 HP over 3 turns, so a little over 206. The effect duration is reset if the status effect owner is hit with direct damage from a special skill. And the caster and nearby allies are immune to buff these spells for 3 turns. Um, so, pretty good as a hit all, but uh, it's only defending you know, his flanks. So, well, it remains to be seen how, how good he will actually be. So, it's something similar to um, Octros. And I think Octros is, it is coming out with another costume, I think, probably in a month or so. So... Remains to be seen if this is better or the costume Octros is better. Uh, average speed, so you can pair him with the recently released Brimstone. So that will be pretty good as well. You put Fiends on them with negative um, 54% defense against fire. And then you use Ukonen to deal tons and tons of damage. So honestly, I think it's okay. It's not just, it's not, it's not, it doesn't have that wow factor, you know. Um... I, but I think how it works best would be, you know, s synergizing with other average rate hit alls. So, for example, you can do something like uh, use a radia first to give the fire damage and reduce the max health. And then you use brimstone, and then you use you finally use Ukonen. So something similar to that in that sense. Can see it being good in maybe rush wars as well. If you're trying to pair. Him with like um, you know Santa or Ilmarinen from the same Kilvala family, so should be okay. Would be interesting to get him as well. So then they have new costumes that are out for Kilvala. One of them is the featured one, costume Aino. So previously, costume Aino was a the regular side for Aino is a cleric. Uh, I like that she cleanses status elements first before recovering 40% health and giving all enemies negative 24% mana generation. So the new costume, still the same, cleanses status ailments from all allies, recovers 45% health for all allies instead of 40%, and then all enemies get negative 20% mana generation instead of negative 24%. So how would this change? Uh, obviously with a Monk class, so you don't need a... Uh, Hold on, let me just check the costume bonus. So the costume bonus is having 5% mana bonus, which is really good. Uh, she's able to be 
uh, to go off in eight tiles with a level 30 magic troop. So that's pretty awesome as well. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about the costume is that it's still uh, unlike, you know, costume aerial where it switches from healing to boosting health so you get the overheal this one is still regular health recovery which means you don't get boosted health so there might be times where you're only depending on the cleanse instead of the health uh, generation so not really overly excited about the costume i guess it's just to pad the stats to make uh you know if you already have regular i know then you know having the costume will give the costume bonus and make her you know really a bit more functional in the recent uh, amount of heroes that come out with this overly sized stats so there are another two more costumes that were released one of them being costume Kulervo and I'm really disappointed that they are not featuring costume Kulervo because I think this is one of the best Kilvala heroes to be released uh, when Kulevo was out I think he was a threat in regular wars he was a threat in rush wars as well because you are able to you know um, mindless an initial target and then a random target which and he also deals quite a lot of damage so it's actually pretty good so let's see what the costume does right now so initially it was 300% damage to the target and then 470% damage to a random different enemy uh, and then mindless attack for three turns. If it's hitting a dark character, it will be uncleansable and last two turns longer. He was a rogue then. Right now he is a fighter, so immediately a stronger upgrade over over the class. Um, so initial damage is four hundred fifty percent damage to the target, and then three hundred twenty percent damage to a random different enemy. That's so much better. The fact that you're able to control the bigger hit is actually quite good. Um, and then enemies hit, uh, you get mindless attack for four turns, which is one turn more than the regular side. Against dark characters, this status effect becomes uncleansable and lasts one turn longer. So they've took they've taken the against dark character, the two turns from that dark character, given one of those turns to his regular mindless attack. So if you're hitting a uh, nature fire eyes or uh, fire eyes or holy heroes uh, they will still take four turns of mindless attack as opposed to three turns with the regular side and as we all know four turns it's far superior than three turns so that is why i think uh, this costume will be worth chasing if you if you are really you know relying on coleros uh, to be part of your arsenal in your roster so i think you know the costume really does benefit him a lot. He's able to go again with a level 30 magic troop. Um, without a bard, you can bring him up to 8. Uh, you can charge him in 8 tiles, which is actually really good. So, yeah, definitely a good upgrade for the costume. It's just very disappointing that they have decided not to um, release, make it featured make the costume featured which is actually kind of sad instead they put this old man Vainamoinen <laughs> as one of the featured so the other costume is Mieliki so originally Mieliki summons a spirit, uh, minion sprite of the forest minion with 15% HP and 10% attack uh, when summoned they give plus 20% mana generation for its owner so similar to something like Hulda uh, and then all enemies get negative 24% attack for 4 turns. Originally she was a druid. Now she is a paladin. Um, so you get a beefier minion, I do believe. Yeah. 3% additional HP but 2% less attack. You don't really care much about the attack from the uh, minion. Especially since she is a support character and more towards uh, being defensive. When summoned, you get plus 24% mana generation, so that additional 4% mana generation might actually be really good, especially uh, if you're using this together with some slow or very slow uh, heroes. And all enemies get negative 26% attack for 4 turns, that is uh, slightly higher than the regular side. 
but uh, not really too much of an issue. So really, really good upgrade over the um, over the regular side. I think that's pretty uh, pretty usable as well. You know, Hulda is useful, but you know, being a five star hero, the amount of resources that you go into Hulda, as well as Hulda being a full on support, this one at least gives a little bit more, you know, proactive uh, ailment onto the enemy as well. So can use her i can i can see this miliki being used in certain situations not all but certain situations when you need uh to accelerate your allies and at the same time you know giving that negative attack onto the opponents makes sure that they don't accidentally kill one of your allies while they're trying to charge so yeah pretty good so we do have 25 Epic Hero Tokens now, I'm going to use all of them. See if we can get any one of these. So the only <laughs> the only Kalevala hero I had is the regular Kulervo. I don't have any of the others. What I would like would be someone like Ilmarinen for challenge events. Luhi for rush. Not, true, not too interested in the rest. Maybe Ukonen, but yeah, let's see what... We can get with 25 Epic Hero Tokens. Mm, yeah, it's pretty sad that they're not including Kulervo, costume Kulervo as part of the featured. I wonder why. Maybe it's because, you know, it's like a marketing uh, gimmick. You want basically uh, people to be chasing the costume and thus doing more pulls than usual for this uh, portal. I'm not gonna go too, um, how do you say? I'm not gonna go too too hard on this portal as well. I don't think uh, those heroes are absolutely necessary. It would be nice to get them as an upgrade and as an addition to the roster, but I don't think it is worth chasing too hard for. I think there are better portals out there with a much more wider array of better selections. Because if you get like one of the the greens like Finamoinen or Ikuturso, you're not going to get uh, any benefit out of them, especially if you have Stained Tongue, Miss Weaver. Uh, oh, hey, we finally got Miliki as the costume. So I haven't leveled the regular side, um, not yet at the moment, but having the costume means I can, you know, maybe focus some of my resources into her and see how well she does in four star tournaments as well i do not have druid emblem so that will be an issue but let's see what we can cobble up mm. but anyways as i was saying i don't think it's worth going too hard on this portal as well especially when there are the portals that might provide a bit more uh a bit more value so to speak so, so far we've gotten Mieliki costume. I'm actually quite happy with that. Not, uh, obviously we can get one of the five stars. That'll be really good. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with just whatever I just pulled so far. Ooh, a Dawa. Does that mean, does that mean something good will come out from this? Oh, I was playing my feelings. Uh, but it's just the usual, the amount of feeders that I'm getting from this. It's Well, at the very least, I don't have any heroes that I'm working on right now. I don't have the materials at all, but, you know, uh, I can just put them to 370 and then just wait for materials and then decide on which one that I would level. But anyways, this is all the pools that I'm going to be doing for now. Uh, well, can't even get the Hero of the Month. I still don't have the Hero of the Month as well. But anyways, good luck uh, if you're doing any pulls for Kilvala. Uh, let me know if you like Ukonen, the new one, or if you're getting, if you're trying to get I know costume, Kuleru costume, or even Meliki, or any one of these uh, five stars. And I'll see you guys in the next video. GG.